back to my channel I'm Kat and today I'm going to be starting a weekly vlog just a weekly reading vlog I really want to try and get more consistent with doing just weekly vlogs okay I've just changed the angle of the camera so you can see what's going on with my room um yeah so I'm rearranging my room right now that includes my bookshelves I am going to be filming a whole dedicated bookshelf reorganization video for my Alice patrons so if you do want to see that it will be popping up at some point this month over there. Depending on how it turns out afterwards, I might film a bookshelf tour, which I've never ever been able to do. Not because I haven't been able to do it, but just because I've only got a bookshelf and like a half bookshelf, you can kind of see. And yeah, I just felt like I've always had like a comparatively, oh my God, comparatively? comparatively you know what I'm talking about a smaller collection than most people who are able to film bookshelf tours have that hopefully is going to be changing at some point this month I don't know how much I should be saying and how much I should keep like as a surprise but yeah I'm going to be expanding my bookshelves basically I'm going to be getting more bookshelves and yeah I'm so excited about that but before I do that I really need to just like sort out all the stuff in my room that sitting right there was a big chest of drawers which were where I'm sitting right now. I cannot tell you how happy I am to have this space back. It was just such an eyesore. Because I'm such a hoarder, it had just a bunch of crap on top. It was just making me very unhappy. It made the room feel so much smaller because it was just one more piece of massive furniture in here and there are two of us living in a one bed flat. I've basically hated that piece of furniture since the day that we bought it and we thought we needed it but to be honest with you we didn't really use it that much and to be honest with you I just want to get rid of a bunch of stuff from my life. I just feel like all the clutter's kind of like getting to me. I've always been such a hoarder from when I was a young child so yeah I'm just like done being that way. I will definitely be keeping things that are like important to me and like memories from my childhood. I won't get rid of everything and become a minimalist or anything. Yeah I just feel like like I'm such a believer in like a clean environment makes for a clear mind. That's kind of what I've been doing this week. I was going to start vlogging a lot earlier actually. I did show you guys my walk the other day so I've also been trying to do daily morning walks. I've already failed on the third day because this morning I didn't do a walk because I just wanted a lion to be honest. I just wanted to be kind to myself but I will be replacing it with an evening walk. It is honestly feeling so much like autumn outside. Obviously that was a really autumnal intro um, which is so nice. I'm, yeah. Autumn is when I thrive and also can we just talk about the fact that I'm wearing a turtleneck for the first time this year. This is my favourite time of year and I'm so excited. I feel like last autumn I was so stressed uh, with work and stuff like that. I was super tired and I just feel like I'm hopefully going to be going into this autumn with a clearer mind. Just focus on like my happiness and my health and my well-being. Sorry, I don't know what this intro is. I feel like I'm being very cryptic about certain things. But anyway, so today in this vlog, I am going to be organizing some stuff. I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but I will show you a little bit. First of all, the reason I keep looking over there is that I've got a bedside table that is just full of random things and honestly a lot of it's just unnecessary. I'm gonna be making some space in there for some of the stuff that was in the chest of drawers. Anyway I'm gonna stop talking about the freaking chest of drawers now and tell you guys what I'm reading at the moment. So actually right now I'm not really reading anything physically so I have got my Patreon book club book on the go. I'm still finishing the one from last month because I got a little bit behind just because I got in such a reading slump in the late summer it was not fun. To be honest with you I'm going to mention this very briefly but I've been going through a massive burnout. It's been really crap actually. I've been in such a low mood and I think that's a major reason that I've decided to have a little clear out. I feel like I need such a refresh and reset on my life just to kind of snap me out of this mood that I've been in. It's just been really horrible and it gave me a reading slump. It gave me, I feel like, a major life slump in a way. I, I just didn't feel very motivated and you might have noticed that on my YouTube channel that I haven't been really producing very great content since earlier in the summer. But anyway, I'm so excited to be getting back into reading. I'm so excited about what I'm reading right now, so let me get on and tell you guys. So I'm finishing my Patreon book club book from last month, which is My Pen is the Wing of a Bird by Afghan Women. It's a bunch of fictional short stories written by Afghan women about their lives in Afghanistan and what they go through as women. There are also a couple stories about men as well, so it does give like a very broad overview 
of just so many people's lives in Afghanistan and I think it's such an interesting read. So many of my patrons have said that they've loved it and that they are so glad that they read it. So yeah, I'm just so excited to get more into that one and finish that one hopefully very soon. So yeah, that's the only actual physical book that I'm reading right now. I'm also reading a book on my Kindle which is called The Venue. I heard about this from Jamie over at Jamie's Library in her recent wrap up video. She read it and it's on Kindle Unlimited so of course I had to download it straight away because it sounded so good, so intriguing. I really want to start reading more on my Kindle now, although I'm supposed to be getting through my physical TBR. I go through real phases with my Kindle. I'm going to put a picture of it on screen. I can't get the cover up without moving my pace in the book. But anyway, um, I don't even know how far through I am. I just know that I've got like around four hours left of the book. So this book is about this woman, Amy, who's been invited to a wedding from one of her kind of like childhood, like teenage years friends who she lost touch with. Apparently he used to be in love with her when they were teenagers and everybody was kind of rooting for them to get together, but she just didn't see him like that. So they were kind of friends and then they drifted apart after that. So she's kind of out the blue being invited to this man's wedding years and years later. And she's decided to bring along her parents and also her most recent ex, Mariko, but they're kind of on amicable terms and they've all decided to take this trip as kind of like a holiday in Europe. And then when Amy gets there, she realizes that the people that this man and his wife have invited are people that have wronged them in their lives or just people that they don't really like so it's kind of like this mystery why are they there this is gonna sound wild but these guests have all been invited there to kill each other so every single guest has to kill another guest before midnight in order to be able to like leave and then the ones that do leave will get their memories wiped so it's a really like cheesy kind of silly concept but it's just so fun and it's kind of exactly what I needed it's supposed to be a very gory thriller I feel like I've been completely missing out on books that I'm just supposed to be reading for fun. I feel like the main reason that I usually get into reading slumps is because I'm picking up books that I feel like I need to read or like I have to read. I feel like this is the first book that I've picked up in a while where I just want to read it because it sounds super fun and there's just no pressure on it. I'm not reading it because I think it's going to be amazing or anything, I just feel like it's going to make me happy and be like a really fun twisty book. Also before I go and actually start sorting things out and making this room much nicer, the third book that I'm currently reading is Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. I think my sisters wanted me to read this book for ages um, and I'm finally getting around to it so I'm listening to it on Audible. I think I've read the prologue and the first chapter. I think they're quite long chapters actually. It's a very long book so I don't know how long it's going to take me to get through it. My first impressions is that it's very weird, very dark. I kind of like it. I'm not really obsessed with it from the get-go. It's quite confusing I would say and maybe not the best sort of book to listen to on Audible because I feel like it needs your like 100% undivided attention. So yeah, that's everything I'm reading at the moment. They hate reminders of death. If you want a great perfume, away from the dim cavern of the dorms, sweat had formed in a slick sheen over the nose and forehead. Hi guys, so I've actually done a lot. I organized my whole wardrobe and all of the clothes that needed to be put away, which was a really big task. And so I'm so glad that I've done that. And I've also cleared out my bedside table drawers. So there's literally nothing in there. So all I need to do is basically decide what things I actually want to store in there because there was pretty much nothing in there, but it was taking up so much space, like random like Illumicrate stuff, which could be like compacted so easily. Like, I don't know what I did, but yeah, I'm really glad that I've got so much more space now than I thought I did. So yes, I've literally just taken a break for lunch. I was gonna say a quick break, but it definitely wasn't quick. I watched loads of booktube videos. That whole time I was listening to Ninth House, I don't think I wanna continue with that book. I'm gonna DNF it because I'm literally on chapter two. Again, very long chapter, so I've been listening to it for a little while now. I've definitely given it enough of a chance and I just don't think it's for me right now, at least. Um, I just think it's really dense and you have to pay so much attention to it and I'd rather have an easy read. Okay, so here is my finished bedside table situation. Just turn the light on. Oh my god, that's so much better. Okay, um, I don't know if it's gonna stay like this. So this is literally just my everyday perfume. It's the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Spade. It's 
such a beautiful scent perfect staple scent so that is just going to be there for now until i can figure out a better place for it here are the things that i'll use a lot so this is my one line a day diary so what it's for is to write down one thing that i'm grateful for every single day um it's really pretty i just got it from waterstones you just write a bit about what you're grateful for every single day and which year you write it in i have been slacking a little bit on it recently um but yeah there's that i've also got my kindle underneath because usually i read on my kindle before i go to sleep so my bedside table is like the perfect place to keep it and then underneath that i've got my book journal so this is a new thing that i've started using i actually need to fill out the latest book that i've read here's my first entry i literally only just started using it so i just need to write my thoughts on book lovers now and i finished that a couple of days ago it's just this really cute princess mononoke journal with some illustrations inside as well and then the next deck is my kind of tentative uh, september tbr so at the bottom i've got creepy cat volume three Forest of Souls by Laurie Emily, which I did start recently. Chain of Gold, which is another one that I did start but didn't kind of carry on. I'd love to keep reading that one. Um, the Poppy Wars, one that I've wanted to read for such a long time now, and now I've got the whole trilogy. It'd be really cool to be able to start it. Uh, the King of Battle and Blood is another one that I've started, and I've got about two thirds of the way through. So I just thought it would be nice to finish this autumn. My Pen is the Wing of a Bird is the one that I mentioned earlier for my Patreon August buddy read. And then Circe is another one that I've started recently and I think I want to take on holiday with me towards the end of the month. So yeah, that's why that's there. So that's kind of a loose September TBR. Don't know if I'll be sticking to that. It might change. And then this is my diffuser that I've had for a few years now. I haven't really used it as much recently, uh, but I do keep it on my bedside table just in case I do want to use it. If I got one now, I probably wouldn't get this one. I'd probably get one a lot smaller. But yeah, it comes in handy sometimes like when I've got a headache. And then I've got this Illumicrate coaster, which I use all the time because I have a cup of tea in bed every single morning so yes this painting right here was done by my sister it's not actually mine it's supposed to be going to my auntie i'm just keeping it for now until we can get it to her but yeah i like keeping it by my bed it's very nice um so yeah that's everything Hi guys we're back in this corner of my bedroom i am just getting ready for the day so already today we actually went to the dump and took the chest of jewels to the dump and to recycle so that's all done it's no longer in here so i'm so happy we also took a bunch of my books that i unhauled to a charity shop and they were so happy to receive them they were very very thankful so that was really nice and also i took some clothes to charity and stuff like that so yeah it just feels like a weight has been lifted a bunch of my stuff is now gone so yeah just feeling super productive already today also to update you guys on my reading i read over 50 percent of my kindle book last night the venue so i don't even think i mentioned who the book was by yesterday so it's called the venue a wedding novel by tj Payne, and i'm now 54 percent of the way through so i've only got like two or so hours left of reading so yeah i'm really happy with the progress that i've made on this book so i was reading it last night in bed with the lights off and it just started getting really, really gory and scary. They did the whole announcement where they explained why the guests were there and yeah, just everything kicked off. I'm not really gonna go into detail because I don't wanna like spoil it for anybody who wants to read it. To be honest with you, the only like issue that I have with it is like the pacing. I feel like more could have been done, but to be fair, I'm only 54% through. So I can't really say anything without spoiling it, but I guess maybe this last like portion of the book is just going to kind of slow down in terms of pacing i really hope so anyway because i really want this to be good so yeah really enjoying that one. Oh yeah i also did make some progress with my pen is the wing of the bird i have now finished the first part of that book so yeah i'm gonna be filming a whole patreon dedicated vlog for that book i honestly think that so many people should read this book it is so interesting so insightful yeah it just makes you think about like your own life it makes you reflect on like your privilege a lot of the stories are written in a way that show like kind of the mundane day-to-day -day life of these individual characters living in Afghanistan but then it also shows like how painfully different our lives are. I just think it's a really important read. Um, I wish more people would read it. I don't think it's had like many reviews on Goodreads. So yeah if you're interested I will leave it linked below because I just think more people should be reading um, stories like this. So I've just gotten ready because I want to film a video today. I haven't filmed a sit down video in a very long time. I think I might use this background actually because it's kind of cute. So yeah, you might see this um, or you might have already seen this in another video, obviously without the bow. Although this is so cute. Like I'm actually feeling so cozy right now in this. 
I'm gonna get changed now. I am hopefully gonna film this autumnal cozy spooky season recommendations video. I also do want to film an autumn TBR as well. I'm not sure when I'll do that. Hopefully I'll just be able to spend the rest of the afternoon like chilling out, reading, and I'll speak to you guys later. Oh my god this is such a difference like this is such a cool background sorry about the lighting but wow this is so cool okay anyway pull yourself together i am so tired i've been doing this since like nine o'clock in the morning and it is now 7 30 at night and i need to have my dinner like asap but yes i just thought i'd sit down in front of my shelf for the first time and talk to you guys i just thought i'd mention that i will be doing a bookshelf tour like proper in-depth bookshelf tour I think in a couple of weeks time once I've got some more bits and bobs that I want for the bookshelves and also once I'm like back from like my holidays and stuff but yeah I am so happy with that I can't wait for you guys to see it properly in that video now I've got somewhere for all of my bookmarks as well like properly displayed like my bookmarks have been everywhere over the whole entire flat and now I've got just one place to have them all and it looks so cute. I've got the best bookmarks. And speaking of bookmarks, I recently received some more from Divine Pages and Co. So Yasmin over there sent me a bunch more bookmarks and I'm so excited. So let me show you. So the first one is a Hobbit bookmark and I literally just rewatched all of the films with Dramshed. He loved them by the way. This Hobbit bookmark is probably one of my favourites. It says far over the misty mountains cold to dungeons deep and caverns old. We must away ere break the day to seek the pale enchanted gold oh, i'm obsessed i love it i love the color i don't have a bookmark this color i'll be using this for so much of my fantasy reading the next bookmark so exciting again is a cruel prince bookmark this one is shiny glossy and it says what could i become if i stop worrying about death about pain about anything if I stop trying to belong instead of being afraid, I could become something to fear. I love that quote so, so much. I love these books. I am so sad that I finished that series. When I eventually do my reread, obviously I'm gonna be using this. Another top tier bookmark for a top tier book is this Circe one. This one has another quote. It says, but in a solitary life, there are rare moments when another soul dips near yours. As stars once a year brush the earth, such a constellation was heed to me. I'm gonna be picking up Circe again very, very soon. So I'm really excited to actually have a proper bookmark for it now to go with the book. And then we've got this whale one, which might be my absolute favorite. It is so, so beautiful. It matches perfectly with the butterfly bookmark as well which I think is like my overall favorite. It is just so pretty. But this one, wow, I love this one so much. And the last one that I've got to show you guys is this one, which, oh, the last one I've got to show you guys is this one, which is a From Blood and Ash bookmark. And it says, when you listen to me, I think the stars will fall like how gorgeous is that with the roses sneak peek into my autumn tbr but i'm going to be rereading from blood and ash so i can actually finally get around to reading the second book in the series so i'll absolutely be using this when i read them i'm actually a rep for divine pages and co so you can use my code to get 10 percent off i'll put the code on screen i'll also link the etsy shop and instagram in my bio along with all of the bookmarks that i mentioned so yes that was fun i haven't done like an unboxing slash sharing something i got recently with you guys in ages but yeah i think i'm gonna go and have some dinner now i don't know if i'm gonna do any reading this evening but to be honest with you having my bookshelves all organized and like new and revamped and refreshed i honestly feel in such the reading mood i feel so inspired to read it's like a breath of fresh air into like my reading life i'm just so excited to read again so yes i will let you guys know if i decide to read anything later otherwise next time you see me i will probably be either on my way or at my parents house oh this is like the nicest service station <laughs> so nice Hello guys, I am now at my parents' house with my best friend and my boyfriend and yeah, 
I'm so happy because like everyone's together and that is a little surprise so when we got here last night after I finished work there was yeah actually a big surprise waiting for us and I had no clue I did kind of guess it but then I put the thought out of my mind because I thought there was absolutely no way that they've done this I'm gonna take you guys downstairs and show you in just a moment um but yeah the plan for today is me Amy and Emily are gonna be getting our nails done I am so excited I haven't got my nails done since like February or March so excited to have my nails done finally and just feel like a new woman but yeah I will definitely be vlogging like the next few days while we're here I'm so happy right now. Let me take you downstairs and show you guys the surprise. Oh, here she is. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Okay, Maple. <laughs> this is Willow. Tattoos look so cool. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, they look so cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bitch. So we've just been in town and wait, what are those mushrooms? Wow, they're massive. Anyway, we were just in town getting our nails done. We went and got coffee and now we are back. I can't wait to see the dogs again. But yeah, I decided to go with yellow. Just, I wasn't gonna go with yellow. I was gonna go with like a baby pink or something. But uh, when we got there, I was just looking at all the colors and I put my finger up to the yellow color and it just looked so good on my skin tone. I always go with such a rogue color. <laughs> it just seems so oh, precarious. To be fair, I could try and fit it up on the side. I got it. Oh, I wanted to try. I didn't want you to try. Why? Because I'm shorter. A little. Fair enough. Okay, I feel like the dogs are going to hear us and come running. Hey baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, look how happy. Way. <laughs> baby. Oh, love them. Oh, you like our nails? Oh, yeah, really nice. Gorgeous. Thank you, Mom. Oh, what would you call that? Yellow. Yellow. Lovely. <laughs>
it's got to end the right way up as well. But then you've got to do it when it's fully This is going in the vlog. Watch it. No, I've got it. Look, the river This is one part, part, like a three minute routine. <laughs> <laughs> this is so embarrassing. What else do you do? Yay! Yeah. I'm going to put the espresso in. Do we have any coffee bean yep. to put on top? Yes! It's not for me either. Who is it? Hey, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a oh. bad bartender. Wait, remember the face, the person that ordered. Well, you all, I know, you all kind of feel like you little bottles of vodka and Hello everybody, it is Friday and we're going to be, I don't know if I'm going to, but we're going to the beach. We were supposed to leave a bit earlier, but sure. Emily's bailed, Amy's bailed because she's sick, but mom's coming with us. So it's going to be me, John Shed and mum. And we're going to go to the beach and hopefully swim and then eat because there's a really nice cafe there. So yes, let's go. I would never submerge myself in the sea unless I had like the scuba gear. I feel like it's nicer to do like breaststroke and have your head out of the water when it's in the sea, surely.
Hello, so it's actually the afternoon now and it is like half an hour before we're going to be setting off back to London, which is really sad and it also means that I'm probably going to be concluding this vlog very shortly. So yeah, today we actually did go in the sea. Is anybody shocked? Because I'm actually kind of shocked that I did go in, even though I went in last time, just because it was a lot warmer the last time I was here, which was like a month ago. And it was a little bit breezy today, which made it like way less inviting but yeah i actually went in and then we got breakfast afterwards me my mum and jam shared and literally the whole time since we've been back we've been chilling in the garden with the dogs and i was editing my bookshelf organization video for patreon and then hopefully this vlog will be going up tomorrow or the next day i don't really have an upload schedule anymore which is a shame and i'm really really sorry about that but i'd rather get this video up like as soon as possible instead of like waiting for a day that I usually upload. So yeah, if it seems like there's absolutely no pattern to my videos anymore, it's because there's not. I'm just giving myself a break at the moment because like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm trying to be nicer to myself just because I've been struggling so much recently with burnout and like putting way too much on my plate. I didn't really do like a properly coherent vlog while I was here. On the first full day that we were here, we obviously went and got our nails done which was really nice we also went in town and got coffee as well um, which i don't think i even filmed and then yesterday we ended up going to a national trust property and like going in the house which was actually like really really bad vibes it really freaked me out there was like literally a thing on the floor that said that somebody had died there and like on that exact spot and it was their deathbed and stuff yeah the whole place just gave me the heebie-jeebies basically <laughs> the gardens were quite nice though there was a japanese gardens and we had like a lunch there and stuff which was so nice and actually there was a secondhand bookshop there and i ended up picking up utopia avenue by david mitchell but like the really really nice hardcover version that isn't in print anymore i'm pretty sure there is a paperback out now in the uk but it does not have this beautiful cover so i'm so glad that i found this it's basically a book about a band kind of like daisy jones vibe in the 1960s late 1960s i think they start off in london and then i think they move to america and it's during like the psychedelic era obviously you can tell by the cover but yeah it's supposed to be like really really amazing story so i just thought i would pick this up when i had the opportunity because it was only two pounds i'm very very happy to have this i did start it in the car yesterday and it was a really interesting start it like starts with a mugging which yeah it's quite funny and like really really well written i'm quite excited to read it I don't know when that's going to be just because spooky season is upon us and I definitely want to make the most of this next two months in terms of the books that I've got on my TBR that I've been saving all year. Hopefully a TBR video will be out very shortly as well. I've got an autumn TBR plan so yeah I'm going to film a video for that this weekend. Yeah I don't know if there's any more to say that, I, that we got up to this week. I have no clue what I filmed. There's going to be definitely a lot of dog footage, so apologies if you find that boring, but I just think it's the cutest thing. I love to capture each moment with the dogs just because they grow so fast. So having them on my channel in these vlogs is kind of like a time capsule for me and I can like just go back and look at how they were when they were little and we never had that for our first dog, Annie or Suki, because she's a rescue dog. So yeah, having Mabel and now Willow captured on camera like this is just so precious. I'm kind of doing it for me and my family more than I'm doing it for the actual vlog. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it anyway. It is very cute content. But yeah, I think that's it from me. I'm going to pack up my things now and we're gonna skedaddle. So yes, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope that you've enjoyed spending this past week with me. I'm definitely gonna be getting back into some weekly vlogs. I'm gonna be back here as well very shortly in October so that I can go pumpkin picking like I did last year. So there's gonna be way more like autumnal cozy content coming soon. The next vlog you will probably see from me will be a holiday vlog though as I am going away very shortly. So yeah, after that, we'll get back to the weekly vlogs. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.